Thursday Thunder. Yes. <laughs> February the 18th. 18th, yeah. These, these episodes are just starting off with nothing. <laughs> I feel like, alright, what's more we talk about this, this morning? Uh, I need a drink. Mm. This is, yeah, these three energy drinks. This is a citrus mist and it's Mountain Dew. It's Mountain Dew. Mm. It actually, if you go onto their website, they'll say they think Mountain Dew. Yeah, and no, it's, it's yeah. spot on. This is the pina colada, yeah. and I love it. Yeah. And Ari thinks it's shit. No, see, Ari's weird. He don't think anything's nice. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got coconut in it. It's crap. Yeah. No, but I like it. I think this is one of my favorite, and that's really that nice That one's really too. nice. I want to have a creamy soda one. Yeah, most yeah. Yeah. I reckon cream, but yeah, but it's creamy soda big in America. Oh yeah, is that's it? like that's like it's like sarsaparilla. You know, like a long glass of sarsaparilla, but you know that sort of stuff. I think creamy soda is big in America. It's, it's not sort of like sarsaparilla in America. Yeah, it is. It's like root beer. That's what oh, yeah. it's called. It's called root beer. Oh well, that's something. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, let's get to it. I like sarsaparilla. I like it too, Portello. Do, do, can you buy it anymore? You can, you can buy a sarsaparilla, you can Shreps. buy... Shreps used to do it. Yeah, you can also buy something called Portello, which is like a darker port-like taste to it. It's really nice. I'm going to have to see if I can find it. I have to bring in the Italian... What if they do a sugar-free sarsaparilla? I know they do a sugar-free root beer, like A&W. Well, that's, yeah. That's yeah. Great. yeah, well they do that. <laughs> There's this Italian drink called Chinotto, uh, Bisleti Chinotto, which is a... If you're Italian, if you're watching this, you're hearing it, you know what it is. It's the bottle that looks like Coke with a picture of a lion on it. It's very low. Oh, I have seen yeah. it, yeah. It's, it's odd. It's an acquired taste. I think you have to have it Italian blood to like it. It's super weird. I'll bring some in. <laughs> okay. Shop right. Talk. Yes. New products. Mm. Um, so you, you can talk, talk about this. Where All right. Here it is. So, uh, coming in today, yes. on board for deliveries for today. I held off the video as long as I could, but it didn't come in. We, I only heard about this last week, actually. Yeah. Uh, so it's Dark Side Sups Ultra Pre Extreme. Yes. It comes in four flavors. We've got mm -hmm. blue lemons, candy crush, mango tango, and sour gummy bear. Now you read the profile of this. Yes. And you sort of freaked out a bit. It scared me a little bit, just because reading down the list. I mean, I'm going to I'm just going to skip. Like, We're going to do a full preview on this next week once we get the stocks in. But I, quickly, just quick. Run I want to skip all the other um, constituents in there, like your pump products, your power products, your endurance, and go right to the stimulant side of things. We have 320 milligrams of caffeine and hydrus. We have 250 milligrams of English walnut extract. 125 milligrams of tear cream. 100 milligrams of Infinity, which is diet caffeine malate, uh, 60 milligrams of Hordenine, and then you have your 30 milligrams of Sinephrine and 50 milligrams of Astrogen. That is a huge hit of stimulants. Mm, like, that is. is massive. Like, just from Hence is called Ultra Pre Extreme. Ultra Pre Extreme. And uh, yeah, I just think people, if they go two scoops of this, they're not coming back. <laughs> So is that, that is actually per scoop? That is per scoop. One scoop is 15 grams. So 25 gram, 25 serves. Yep. And if, I think everyone should start with half a dose. <laughs> right from that. Just don't, no, don't, no, no, just go full on. Just, yeah. just mainline it. Put it right in your eye. We'll do a full preview uh, on this product mm. once we get it in. Yep. It looks week. good though. Like the first three impro um, ingredients, the citrulline, beet alanine, and beet and hydrus. And the That's good thing is, it's still going to be at 69.95. Yeah. It's so it's 25 serves. Most of the others are 20, 20 40 or 20 serves yep. for 69.95. So that's right up there. This would be with, your Yeah, this would be with 25 or 50 if you took that. It's got a pup formula. It does. It has your citrulline. It has your betaine and hydrus, and it's only got a pep form. Your citrulline peptides. Then the beta alanine. Yeah. So the pep form is a pre-digested uh, citrulline. So it bypasses your liver and kidney so it goes right to the blood because when citrulline goes through your liver and kidney it has to be filtered um, to get all the water out. When it's pre-digested it has no water so it hits your bloodstream, hits the muscle and it does what it needs to do very very quickly. So a scattered land to try this, I will try it. Oh, I will try it at the full dose and then I will see sounds and see what happens. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We'll let you know next week. Mm -hmm. um, also what's new is in from our good friends at Red Dragon they've started to release uh, just individual yeah. ingredients. So they've got their creatine, which we've been selling as well, and they've got a beta alanine now. It comes in a 200 grams, pure beta alanine, unflavored, 
$39.95. When was the last time you used pure beta alanine? I've never used pure beta alanine. I've only used it in the thing. Yeah, I have used pure beta alanine. When I was younger, I bought a whole bunch of different ingredients and tried making my own pre workouts. And um, the worst thing I ever did was the old mesomorph, I had like five grams of beta alanine. Yeah. I had a double serve and I was walking home and it was severely cold and I felt like my skin was coming off. It was horrible. Well, the, yeah. usually the clinical in here is clinical. Dose. Yeah, 3.2 3, 3, 3, 3. grams. Yeah, and that gives you nice tingles. I would mm. imagine what 10 grams. It was horrible. <laughs> Especially if you don't know what it does. <laughs> like when, you first, when anyone first has beta alanine, they think, I'm having an allergic reaction. Like, I don't, I, I'm itchy, I'm going red. I'm well, I've had people bring in a product saying, I can't use this, I'm getting an allergic reaction. And it's usually the bitter. It was bitter when he yep. tingles. Yeah, you know, so and um, some people will say that they they still say that uh, oh this reacts with me I get the itchies and they don't realise it's the ingredient yep. and it's meant to do that. I actually use that as a good sign that the product is in the bloodstream mm. ready to go. People have the sort of same effect with uh, vitamin A and niacin when they have too much of it. This niacin causes like a flushing of the of the of the face, so you get like a really red Did face. Did I ever tell you that when I used to compete? back in the 80s and 90s, we used to take niacin. You did tell me that, yeah. Before going on stage. For that reason, because it causes a vasodilation effect. Hmm. Um, but the issue with it is that it reacts to diff people differently. Yeah. yeah. And so one person might take it, it might take 10 minutes and you've got the thing, the next one might take 30 minutes. So I can remember taking it once and I did the whole show with the pre-judging and came off stage and then I got the tingle. <laughs> <laughs> it wrong. was really hit or miss. Time or wrong. Yeah. Mm. Um, Alright, back in stock. So Magic Mushies, back yep. in stock. EHP Labs pre Pride, Pride pre workout, back in stock. ATP size full capsule range is back in stock. Mm -hmm. Everything. Yep. So all it is is back in stock. Coming soon, and we spoke about this a couple of weeks ago. On Thursday Thunder, yep. the Prima Bolics new range. So the Primal Test, Prima Bolics Metabolize, Prima Bolics Intra War, and um, so they should be in stock tomorrow. Good. Yeah. Yeah. So looking forward to getting those. They were really good products, um, and we did a, a short review on them, but we'll do a full review as each individual product comes in. Also coming into stock uh, next week is International Protein Extreme Cut. Now that's just, I'm taking from the name, that is just a carb powder. It's a carb formula, yeah. similar to um, the pure carbs. Pure carbs it's a too. blend of fast and slow, I think, carb. So it's the multi-dextrin, dextrose, fructose. Yeah, yeah, we'll go through it yeah. a little bit more once we get it. It was a little bit different, uh, but same same. Good. Yeah, but an unflavored carb formula that can be added to, used as a pre or an intro or post, added Excellent. to your aminos or protein. So um, they should be in stock early next year week um we wanted to just mention that you had the protein switch yes now in a choc mint i just asked adrian to bring it in so we could just mention it because we've all been using it now yep. and in terms of the flavor i like it i mean i i like more of a mint hit myself yep. there is mintiness to it i just feel like for myself it could be a bit more mintier but the, the thing about it is, it is stevia sweet and sweetened, as we can yep. see here. It has no sugars in there. It's yep. naturally flavored, naturally sweetened. So for a naturally sweetened pro uh, product, it tastes it tastes good. It tastes really good. Yep. Uh, this is the new formula as well, with the 30 yes. serves. That's so right. um, I did a breakdown on my, on my Instagram just yesterday of the protein sources and why they're in there. So if you want to go have a look at that, yep. look at that. Um, I agree. I used it as well. And um, it's it's... A good tasting product, mm -hmm. but if anything, I thought it could have been a little bit more minty. Yeah, that's all. However, they're, again, the peanut butter toffee <laughs> is one of the best protein product uh, flavors I've ever had. The first couple of times, it's yeah, it's hit and miss, but now it's I love that sweetness, I love that peanut butter taste, and uh, yeah, I'm starting to get on board with plant based proteins now. So now I use a plant based, a whey, and a collagen. Yep, in my in my days. Yeah, I use a plant based yep. on, on most training days. Mm. Um, just because I'm intermittent fasting, I'm still doing it. How's that going for you, by the way? I'm, I'm still doing it. Yep. yep. I feel, you feel really alert in the mornings, mm. and I think it's because you're starving to death. <laughs> Trying to find that. No, no, I've gotten used to it. But I use the plant-based protein during the day, 
because of all my meals are so close together. Yeah. And I find that the plant based is digested a little bit better. Good, good. But I still incorporate a whey protein as well. Um, power switch? Yes, I also have a power switch here. Yep. This is a new formulated power switch by Switch Nutrition. Uh, we will have to do a full break. We're doing soon. a full review on it, so that will be available yep. soon as well. I use this with one scoop of this with one scoop of grind yesterday for our arm workout. And I've never had such a painful pump in my life. Well, the, the pump is from the grind. Yeah. And the, and the glycerol. Yeah, there's glycerol in here. Um, and the best thing about it being there's only 160 milligrams of caffeine, you don't get that vasoconstriction effect from too yeah. much caffeine. So it hits well. It hits very good. It's a, it's a good pre workout. Yeah. I and mean, we'll talk about that in a little bit depth in our next video. Mm -hmm. um, all right, so we have got one of our sponsors, Athlete Taylor Bednars, is making. Uh, it's come back to the ring this Saturday Good. at um, Diamondback at Norwood Oval. So it's an outdoor event. They've done that because obviously of COVID restrictions. Open air, yeah. So it's at this, it's called the Apex Sports Festival. It's apparently all day at Norwood Oval, okay. but the fights are running in the evening. So there's all sorts of sports. Yeah, I'm not sure. Also, I'm sports. just interested in the fights. Lots of sports. Um, but yeah, Taylor, so good luck to Taylor. Luck, we'll be man. there to uh, cheer you on. So he actually got, he got a four week notice for this fight. Yeah, I didn't even know he was doing it. Yeah. yeah. He sort of got, a, he told me already a couple of months ago that he might be getting a fight. So he started preparing. Yeah. But it was only confirmed to him, I think, only about three or four weeks ago. Wow. He's got this fight. So, uh, be good to see how that goes. We'll let good you luck. know how he goes next week. Mm. All right, we got some questions. We do. You, did you get any questions? No. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't. No. No. Sometimes you get. Sometimes like, like yeah, it's a hit and miss. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I should make an OnlyFans. Ask me questions. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, we got uh, we got one here from uh, Stu. Mm -hmm. Station. Love to hear your take on Aussie brands versus the rest of the world. Now we've covered this. We've covered times, this, and I think the Aussie brands are starting to catch up with the rest of the world. And in some cases, I think even passing. I think I think I have to disagree to say they're overtaking entirely. Yeah, I think what I like about Australian brands is that they will bring out a product, and there'll actually be a fair bit of science back there is. and back into the product. Uh, lots of um, openness on what it's all about, mm -hmm. how it works, etc. Why these ingredients have been put in, whereas not just a bunch of ingredients put together um, to try and sell yeah. the product. I feel like with a lot of American products now, they've gone for we've added 500 milligram of this, we've got 8,000 yeah. milligram of this, we've got 12 grams of sugar to make it taste beautiful. So I think they going Americans go for more of the marketing and the hype. Like if you look at an Australian product like this, it's a very it's not bland, but it's flat. Yeah, you know it's mean? also, that's to do with our regulation. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, this is an American product, yeah. and uh, that's uh, that's the dark side. Ari, can you zoom in on that? So that's like a Darth Vader ninja looking guy. So, uh, yeah, I think I think the American ones hype up their marketing. I think they have to because their, mark, their overall market is so much larger than ours. Yeah. In terms of just sheer quite, like population and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but I think Australian products uh, and our shop is now, it's 80% Australian. Yeah, no, yep. walk in, yep. it's like Australian product, Aussie brand, Aussie brand, Aussie brand, Aussie brand, yep. it's great. And look, there's a number of reasons for that. Um, and the main one is because we just like these products. Yep. Um, but also to do with the regulations that have been put into place mm -hmm. by the TGA. A lot of um, overseas products just don't comply anymore, so the companies don't bring them in yeah. anymore. So. Um, there's lots of changes, but I think overall that the changes that have, have come into place so far really haven't impacted the supplement no, industry. No, no, no. Like we said a long time ago, I think it's gone better. Yep. It's changed. But it always involves, uh, evolves. Yep. So yeah, congratulations to the Australian companies that we all deal with, and just keep doing what you're doing. You're, you're doing really good products, and we're excited for the future. Good job. Um, all right. We've got one here from Greg. Uh, what's the difference between BCAs and EAAs? And part two of the question, could I use EAAs instead of WPI? Okay. So, the difference between the BCAs and the EAAs is 
There are BCAs in essential amino acids, although there isn't essential amino acids in BCAs. Yeah. So essential amino acids are your core nine. Core nine aminos. Aminos, which basically you need to get these from your nutrition. Mm -hmm. And when those are present, it will make the other amino yes. acids form in a chain of 22? Yeah, 21. 21, 21, 21 amino, acids. amino acids. Yeah, basically. And it's funny that they call the essential amino acids the ones you can't make, you can't get. Like your body can't assimilate and make itself. Yep. Uh, the other non-essential your body can make. So your BCAs are three amino acids yes. and they are part of those EAAs. They are, yes. they are the leucine, isoleucine and valine and these three are the biggest um, constituents in muscle growth and muscle repair. Yep. So the more isoleucine, leucine and valine you can get, the more you can increase your muscle protein synthesis which incurs muscle growth as long as you've got that net balance between muscle protein synthesis and muscle protein breakdown. Um, I'm a huge believer in using essential amino acids. Well, pretty well all the new amino acids that are coming out yep. are the essentials. Yes. They're those core nine um, which contain the branch chains. Now, some companies will bump those branch chains mm -hmm. up. Yep. And there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. No. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. In the terms of using a WPI in, in place of essential amino acids, the only difference there is calories. You're not getting the calories. No. no. Um, and the other goodness in WPI. Yeah. yeah, in whey protein contains your immunoglobin. In, in in yeah, yeah, the goodness in it. So you're not getting that in the calories. Yeah. And with oh, whey protein, I say you've also got your IGF-1 signals, your insulin like growth factor signals, you've got your growth factors, you've got your, um, like your vitamins and minerals and nutrients yeah. in that. So yes, you can if you're looking to lose weight as well as maintain your muscle mass. However, I do believe you should use the WPI over your essential amino acids if you're looking to increase like, or maintain your muscles. Essential amino is good to have as an intra, mm -hmm. excuse me, or then you just your water bottle during the day yep. and you're sipping on it, but you're right, I wouldn't, I wouldn't use them in lieu of the WPI. Mm -hmm. I'd still use a proper whey protein yeah. in there just for the nutritional benefits and a little bit of extra calories. And look, you're talking about a 30 gram serve of a WPI is only going to have 100. Yeah, so, easily. 25 yeah. grams of protein. That's right. Um, do you remember the certain product that would have, what's it, it's like, it was in a tub like this, it was very expensive, and it's like, for each screw, the equivalent of 30 grams of protein. Yes. Yes, uh, uh, and it tasted horrible. <laughs> I can't remember the name. ALR Humor Pro. ALR Humor Pro. Yep. Let's see. That was the first company that brought out essential amino acids, but it wasn't just essentials, it was every amino acid. It was acid. everything. Um, and they touted it that it was 10 times more effective yeah. than WPI or yeah. something. They had like a little asterisk next to it, it's like not backed up by a, by a study or something. ALR went broke. Yeah. There you go. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think they did. Well, I can't see. I like, think that, uh, so I think nutrition system still stopped. Yeah, I'm, I'm not, not sure. Too sure. I'm not sure if it's still around. But I've never seen anyone use it. No, I haven't seen any advertising. <laughs> I haven't seen anything for it. Yeah. Uh, one more question, yep. quickly. So uh, another one from Greg. There's this new ingredient, uh, M Extra, mm -hmm. in the new power switch, and in the coffee switch. What does it do? Great question, Greg. Great question, Greg. You put your ingredient in there. <laughs> all right. Well, I, N Extra. All right. I looked it up. Now yep. this is actually from their N Extra site. So it, this is a patented ingredient. Mm -hmm. So I'll just quickly read to you. This that. is. Alpinia galanga, is it not? Yes, yes. So it, it's a, it a caffeine-free extract to improve alertness and focus made from a proprietary extract of Al Alpinia galanga, yeah. a commonly used spice, spice in Asian cooking. All right, so basically what it is, it's a utilized with caffeine, it's a caffeine yeah. amplifier, and it provides a nootropic type energy for up to five hours. And I can tell you exactly where this is from. So, you know turmeric. Yep. There's also something called galanga. Yep. That's what Alpino galanga is. That's all it is. It's just a type of turmeric. Well, it's not a type of turmeric. It's, it's very close to turmeric. So some people would use it to spice cooking like rice. Some people would just use it in a tea. But this is where that extract is from. Galanga. When I did a Google search on this, it came actually up also with a number of products that are using it. Mm. And a lot of them were um, pre-workouts yep. or a nootropic type product. Yes. So basically, in you can use this ingredient in lieu of caffeine mm -hmm. um, to give you a 
a long lasting energy without yeah. a crash. And this is what gives coffee switch that slight orange tint on the car. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So yeah, this, this is, and I think quickly when I had a look this morning, this looks like an ingredient that I think will start making its way into a lot more products. Definitely. Because it looks like it's a very good nootropic product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And a, another one, a good one to increase the effects of caffeine. Yeah. Of course. Yep. Yeah, without it hitting your adrenals, which is always a good thing. So there you go. Yeah. That's it. That's it. You got no questions? No. We're done. We're done. We're done for today. Maybe we should sign up to own should. As you create it, yeah, we should make one. Yeah, you, you yeah. and I. <laughs> Pay us to stop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. This episode, as per normal, is brought to you by Australian Muscle and Australian Muscle the Gym and Australian Muscle Online with free Australia wide delivery. Free Australia wide mm. delivery and all these fantastic products. You get cases of these delivered for free. Yes, you can. Yeah. Sort of. Sort of, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yep. We'll see you next week. Bye bye. bye.